Okay, so I'm gonna be taking you through a session today which is gonna be working your speed endurance. This can be done anywhere you like. You can go from tree to tree, from lamppost to lamppost. It's for any ability. It's up to you to set your own target and taper it for yourself. Okay, so that was our first one down. You'll probably notice that my stride length has changed from the rep that I just did. That's because on the cool down, you want to just take it really steady, nice little bouncy runs on the way back. And on the way up, when we're making our effort, we want to get some really good range between our legs. Really push off the balls of your foot and strike in the middle of the foot, not on the heel and not too far front on the toe. If you're on the toe too much, that'll put too much pressure through your calves. Okay, so get some deep breaths in. We've got another rep for 300 meters. And we're gonna get that big range and really push out hard. So let's get ready. your plank we're doing this for 30 seconds deep breaths inhale and exhale into the lungs squeeze the core twenty Thirty. Okay, we're going to do another five more burpees. Keep breathing. Drop to the floor. One, two, three, four, five. Drop into our plank. Okay, it's really important that you hold on to your core. Breathe in deep. Keep that head up. Okay. Now doing plank when you're breathing hard really teaches you how to use your core whilst you're running at high speeds, which is important for your lower back and keeping really good technique and position when you're working out. Three, two, one. Let's recover with a jog. 200 meters now. Let's go. Well done on that rep. We're going to do a nice slow recovery. I'm going to talk a bit about positioning when you're running. When you're going for these type of reps, you want to be up in your hips, squeezing your core, keeping the head up and shoulders back. You don't want to be bent really far forward. You don't want to be leaning back. All really good posture, keeping the shoulders tall, pulling yourself along as though someone's dragging you with a rope from your heart and it will really pull you through. Obviously, when you may watch the sprinters at the Olympics, 
they come out the blocks fast and they're really low like an aeroplane taking off you don't need to be running anything like that these are mid mid speed sprints okay so let's get ready for some 200s doing these these sets because you're sprinting hard and that's what you want you want to be pushing it so if you're doing something which has got a lot of hills in when you approach that hill inhale with positivity to get up the hill for starters and get it into your lungs because when you hit the hill your breathing will just get really really tight so it's important you breathe into the lungs really expand them Pull it into your lower, lower of the lungs, top of the, of your abs. And that's the best way to hit a hill with your running. Time to get into some lunges to keep that breathing going. Working your glutes will teach you how to move your muscles in fatigue. Okay, drop down into it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, we're gonna go into a side um, into a Spider-Man plank. So up in the upright position, and we're gonna bring knee to elbow. And so 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Down into our Spider-Man planks. Keep the breathing, inhale, right to the bottoms of your lungs. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Twenty, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, and one. Okay, that is our time to jog recovery, hit the road again, and get ready for some 100 meter sprints. Okay, so if you feel a stitch coming on, which is sometimes likely when you first begin, but I still get them too, you just gotta loosen your shoulders out, drop them out, deep breath, inhaling, and exhaling, it's really important just to relax the shoulders off and really run with ease until it decreases and then you can keep pushing through.
Okay, we're going to drop into our 10 squat. Nice wide position. Hands on temple, drop down through the heels. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, side planks. We're going to do side plank up and down. So we're going to touch 15. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, well done. Change sides, 15, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Straight back up into 10 squats. Do this, ready? All in, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Fifteen side planks. Let's go. Up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. On to the other side. 15 to go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Jog recovery. And that's the end of your session. Well done. Add your comments below and let me know how hard or easy you find it. It's going to work all your abs again, so there's no harm in that. Okay, so reaching up and down into a star. Down into a star.